So the next tree we are going to look at is the Japanese maple. Um, I'm not really going to get close to the bark because that's not really at all what you want to be looking at. Uh, the key ID feature is always going to be the leaf. And in another segment, I'm going to hopefully talk about associations uh, to help you ID trees. But the association that's commonly made with this one is it looks like the leaf of a weed plant. Maybe not totally professional, but that's kind of what helps me remember it. Um, it's also, like all maples, uh, oppositely arranged. So um, here's a good spot. So on each segment of twig, there is a leaf protruding from either side. That is opposite. In alternate trees, you will never, ever see that. It's not always present on opposite trees, so you're going to look for it sometimes. But Japanese maple, very, very, very distinctive leaf. Um, opposite arrangement, and it also doesn't usually grow very big. This is probably this is a big Japanese maple, and it's maybe three, four meters tall. Uh, they don't normally get to tree size. But yeah.